Good morning, guys. I am freaking beat. It is Sunday, September 3rd, um, 7 exactly, 7 a.m. exactly. And um, Aztec just hammered me yesterday. I don't know, I guess just the drive store is going to walk in front of the camera here soon. Um, the drive, riding the trek, we rode at Aztec longer than I ever ride at Aztec. The trek, it didn't get like rough, but it got a little beat up, which beat up my hands a little bit. Riding Oni's KLX, I got that little blister because he doesn't have the donuts. Not a blister, but it rubbed through. Whatever. Just being a baby about stuff. But I am tired. Last night we went out, we tried to play at Top Golf, but it was too busy. So we just went out to dinner at Outback Steakhouse. Um, then I came home and I worked on the video that will already be up when you're seeing this, but the Oni vs. D01 KLX 140 vs. him on his uh, 250. Um, I started to work on Day with Dio from yesterday. Um, I went to bed about 1 o'clock, so it was a long day, and then we're going back to the track today. We're going to Thunder Valley, so it's going to be a lot of fun meeting up with Kyle and Chad again um, so they get an opportunity to ride a national caliber track. Um, yet again, the plan is to meet at 8.30 because Thunder Valley opens earlier, so get there maybe 9, 9.15 or so. Um, the track is usually kind of deep and muddy at the beginning of the day, but let it settle in some while we get geared up, and then... Um, yeah, they're, they're going to bail out probably about one. Did I just say that? I'm delirious. Because um, they got to drive back to Missouri, and it's like a 12-hour drive from here. So today's going to be a little bit of a shorter day, which I'm looking forward to because I'm done. I'm so happy tomorrow is Labor Day, so I can go sit in the hot tub or something. So got myself some orange juice just to, just to have something in the morning. I'm not going to make breakfast like I've been saying the past few videos. Um, that's that, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on day with Dio from yesterday a little bit more, and then uh, start getting ready for today. It's 8:30 now. I've been working on this day with Dio from yesterday for the last hour, and we're probably about halfway through the video. So after riding today, I'm gonna have to come back, finish up Saturday's video, and then start on Sunday's video. So we got a busy day of video editing and stuff, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be worth it. So. Just um, throwing this out there, you guys, if you can go ahead and like the video, I do put in a lot of effort, a lot of time goes into these videos, and um, I just like to bring the joy of it to, <clears throat> to you guys, and when you guys enjoy the videos, that means a lot to me. So, please go ahead and like the video, help spread it around, get some more people to see it, and hopefully um, give them something entertaining to watch. I do appreciate it, but um, Kyle, Chad, and the girls should be here at any minute, so um, I'm going to start getting the gear bag ready and stuff, and then head down and start loading the bikes. We are on the road to Thunder Valley. We're actually going to make a stop again at the gas station got to get some water and uh, I believe that they need to get some fuel but they're on the road behind me um, felt a little rushed this morning I don't know why I was up long enough but I think it was because I was doing my dang video so long that I didn't focus on like getting everything ready but I'm pretty sure I have all my gear and stuff fingers crossed but uh, yeah head on over to Thunder Valley all of us um, that are riding so Kyle Chad myself we're all talking about how sore we are from riding yesterday I don't know why Aztec beat us up so bad, but I'm definitely feeling it today. So, um, yeah, we're feeling it, but we're just going to go have some fun at Thunder Valley. I know I already said it, but it's going to be a short day. So that is the plan now. Go uh, hit the grocery store. I, I keep saying Safeway because that's where we go um, for gas and groceries. Um, it's funny because they don't have Safeways back in Missouri. So when I say Safeway, they just kind of look at me like, what are you talking about? But just so you guys know, it's a gas station and a grocery store they have in Colorado. I'm sure they have them in other states, but not all states have them. So that's what that is. But uh, yeah, should be good. Good morning. How are you doing? doing well. <clears throat> Alright, there's that for you. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you, you too. Alright, all signed in, paid, ready to hammer down. Track looks pretty sweet. We've got a few people here, more people here right now than were here at this time last week. Um, looks like it's actually a little breezy. Not like windy windy, but a little breezy. Um, shouldn't mess with us too much though. Um, I kind of lost Kyle and Chad 
they uh, they're not used to the city traffic being from a small town in Missouri so um, <laughs> I, I try to stay close to them, but I end up ditching them, so I feel bad for that. But they have GPS, of course, on their phones and stuff, so they're, they'll get here soon enough. My dad's on his way up, and um, to get unloaded, I am freaking stoked to ride some Thunder Valley. Aztec was awesome. I do love Aztec, but Thunder Valley is just a different animal, bigger jumps, floaters. It's just, it's just different, so plus two days in a row, and um, I don't know, another day with the dirt bike. Tomorrow's Labor Day, so I have another day off after this. No bad days, nothing to be down about. I'm, I'm in a great mood, so um, yeah, let's get this started. We didn't wash the bikes yesterday because we wanted to hurry and get off to top golf and stuff, but um, even though that didn't work out. So the bike's a little dirty, yeah, somewhat dirty, but we're just gonna get it dirty again today, and then uh, I'll probably actually just wash it tomorrow since I'll have a chill day off. You can see where I fell down, squid squatted out, but uh, so dirty bike, nothing wrong with that. All right, Kyle, you just said, a lot different in person. Is that in a good way or what? It is, I don't know. When you watch it in videos, it almost doesn't seem like as big of like a hill that it's on. Okay, right. It's a lot bigger of a hill in person. <laughs> so riding should be very interesting. Definitely. You excited for it though? Definitely. So excited. this will be riding, first time riding on a national track, right? Yeah. Is it your first time even being to a national track or yeah. not? Yeah, okay. only been to Supercrosses before. So. Sweet. What about you, Chad? What, what are your first thoughts looking at the track out here? It's impressive. I'm excited. <laughs> But it excited. looks good today too. It doesn't look like it's too deep or muddy or anything and uh should be a good day out here. We're not used to elevations back home. Thunder Valley, guys. Thunder Valley. Mile high. Chad and Kyle are trying to get trying to get accustomed to both the altitude and the type of riding that you do here. When I talk about Chad and Kyle, what I, what I mean about the type of riding, they said that their tracks in Missouri do not have altitude. So they're used to more riding flat. They're not really flat, but you know, they don't have huge altitude changes, I guess. So it's a learning curve. They're having to get used to riding with less oxygen. And like I said, they're, they're not really used to these lonely tracks and runs. They're used to hard pack. So that would be a lot of fun for them. Pretty cool. I'm gonna run down and grab the dango mount and I'll be right back, okay?
What are we gonna do? So I'm gonna do the thing again where I'm gonna clamp it to my boot. I'm gonna try to throw a whip over that. I'm gonna try to throw a whip over that. I'm thinking maybe if you wanna be um, at certain times behind each jump and just like a static, uh, um, a static shot straight from behind and I'll try and throw a whip, yeah. A, a movie, but yeah, not, not moving, so. We'll see. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take the dango, hook the uh, safety leash to the bootstrap, just like so. So just in case somehow if it falls off, I won't lose it, but I don't think that'll happen. And then I'm going to jam that in my boot. I did this at IMI on the 125, but I think this will be way better on the 450 here. So let's go hit the hit the booter and see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. I got you, man. All right, I'm gonna give you a push, okay? Uh, actually, here, uh, let's go off to the left side if you wanna get off the bike real quick. I got it. All right, we're just gonna get it in the dry. It'll be a little easier for you. All right, you think you can get it here? Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're very welcome. Awesome, man, have fun. Always helping the little ones, like I said, always. Or really anybody. Even a grown up. They're on the ground. Daniel will either block, block the way so they don't get hit or actually physically help them get off the track. So, motocross is a wonderful family, guys. You know that. You wouldn't be watching this if you didn't. Wonderful people. Sorry I'm shaking, guys pretty far away as you can see and right now that's with the 80 millimeter lens up here it's with the 200 millimeter lens pretty cool Happen kids out. second kid i've helped in this corner on their little 65s can't get through this slop that was nice All right, we just pulled off the track, did our first few laps. Of course, we got Kyle here. Um, let's hear what you have to say about it. Wanna, yeah. Well, okay, so GoPro does this track absolutely zero justice. I mean, when he says on like camera and stuff that like it's super deep that day and stuff, like it's super, super deep. And the jump faces, I mean, are straight up in the air. <laughs> like at the top of the hill, there's the, where you step down the hill. And I'm sure you guys see him jump that all the time. And it is like just a straight drop off and the hill's like straight down. It's so gnarly. But the corners are a lot of fun. The dirt's really good. I love the dirt. But it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. A lot different than Missouri. So yesterday we talked about um, the elevation on your body. Are you feeling the elevation on your bike? The, the lack of horsepower? Yeah, uh, at this track more so. Yeah, for sure. With all the yeah. hills and everything. Um, that's actually one funny thing since a lot of people know of Thunder Valley from the National. They don't know Aztec. You come to Thunder Valley and they say, can you feel the bike difference? But Aztec is actually a higher elevation than we are here. Really? But obviously the elevation of the track yeah, yeah, is right. a lot more. So you feel it on the bike more. Right. But So uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if you could feel that. Yeah, I could for sure tell. And well, Chad yeah. even Anything else? Anything else about the track? No, I mean it's. I love the scenery. The scenery is amazing. I've seen all the hills and stuff around. Uh, 
but yeah, it's definitely gonna take some getting used to for sure. Absolutely. Sweet man, I'm glad you're out here, glad you got to ride this track. You too, Chad, of course. All right, finally back in the pits for the first time. We threw down some all right laps, some okay laps, and then um, just started messing around, did some whips. My dad got some footage with the, and then I did the Dango designs on my boot. Um, so hopefully those came out cool, but get some water, take a little break. It's starting to warm up out here. And uh, track sweet though, the track is really sweet, better than it has been the past few times. Um, not as deep, but makes it a little easier to ride. So having a good time, and plus that fresh front tire, really, really helping. Now I just need the rear. What do you got to say about that jump? You're sizing it up so you can hit it the next time out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Show, show the space from the side, the camera level. Like Kyle said, pretty we, steep. We never take the opportunity to just kind of show the jump. Um, but here, if you want to hold it, I'll walk out closer to it. Trying to hold it perfectly level, guys, so we're not cheating on the view. Got a bike coming. Here comes Chad. Oh, that was sweet. Sweet. He's running the gauntlet. <laughs> oh, and they just shot off for him. The old fender slap. trigger on it. Yeah, dude. Because I got to slow down a lot to get the double. I would say third pin. I, I don't know. I'll hit it on yours if you want me to. <laughs> I think it might be too slow for you. I don't know, man. Yeah, if you don't mind. I'm going to hurt my feelings. I'm answering. All right, I got it. I'm going to hit it on yours one time. Dude, yeah, hell yeah. Well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Thank you. Holy cow, this bike is loud as heck. Looks like they're switching bikes. So maybe Daniel could give uh, Chad kind of an idea what a 250 needs to be done to go over it. I'm not sure. They did switch bikes.
manual on Chad's bike. What was that? Three seat bouncing or standing Seat bouncing, up? yeah. Oh. And that was that was third tapped. That's you're like right there where it's like, should I grab fourth or not? How much do you weigh? About 205. Yeah, you're about 40-50 Oh, riding this makes me want a 250. <laughs> See, riding this here makes me want a 450. I want both. I want everything. <laughs> but yeah, right riding this, it's like it's so fun. It's so fun. Like especially that deep left, you're just like Ugh. If you wanna, if you wanna ride this around some, be my guest, man. I'm not ridden a 450. Yeah, bro, they got forgot out. All right, the offer's there if you want it. Take a hop back on mine. Right on, bro. You like a Honda though? Dude, the my two favorite 250s I've rode are both Hondas. They just handle so. They handle way good. <laughs> made it look so easy. <laughs> It's the home track, man. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna head back down, Dad. Would you like a ride? Uh, yeah, maybe. All right, let me start it first. Oh, and I don't know how you do your clutch like that. What? It's like nothing's there. I know, I like it. <laughs> now the comments I'm gonna get after I say this makes me want a 250 is. Dio, you should get a 250. Uh -huh. And I'll say, 250s are expensive. And they'll say, sell your 125 and get a 250. And I'm like, no. That's... Yeah, like, I realize that is a thing you could do, but that's not a thing I want to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, no, that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, in addition to my bikes, I would like a 250 for free. How about? <laughs> All right, we just uh, we just brought it back in. What have I done today, Dad? Maybe like five laps, and I've hit the booter about 30 times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's been the focus of the day. We're just having fun on the booter, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna take a little break here. Um, just throw down another motor, or at least a few laps um, here soon. But we're just out here having fun today, and um, fun is definitely being had. I, I love it out here. So um, yeah, rode uh, rode Chad's. Uh, I think it's a 15. Did he say 15? Yeah, 15. 15 uh, Honda. 250 and that was a lot of fun i really like those honda 250s um because i rode dalton's also and i really liked it but uh made it over the booter on it it was a little little sketchy i, I bounced off of it twice out of like the three or four times i did it but we may do and um i had a blister on my hand yesterday and it's uh it's opening up so that's that feels lovely right now but um we'll soldier on through it's 11:50, so we're not going to be riding a ton longer like another hour or whatever but um it's good out here it's lots of fun
what's down here. Fly you through them a little bit. I blew out the berm. I'm sorry to everybody here. They have the tractors out. They're gonna do the mid-day prep soon, but uh, I, I killed this corner, I apologize. But <laughs> let's see if we can blow up the inside berm while we're at it, why not? <laughs> nice. Wow, he flew through that. Holy cow, I can't wait to see the footage on that. Wow. Yeah, I definitely get the impression he blew that one out. <laughs> they're, they're all beat to death now. Look at that. You, you remember what I showed you a few minutes ago? <laughs> they're pretty much all boogered out. <laughs> all rolled over and knocked over. <laughs> I, I think I toasted that inside rut too, so uh, mission accomplished. Ruin both the ruts. Nobody gets to have any fun until after the reaper. All right, guys, it is five till one now. They're doing the midday prep, and the plan was that um, Kyle and Chad, they're getting out of here at uh, one o'clock. So we're calling it. It was a good day out here. Like I said, it was going to be a short day. This is exactly what we planned on. Lots of fun. Didn't put down a ton of laps, but um, threw some whips, hit the corners pretty good, I thought. Um, lots of fun out here, so I'm glad we got to come out and enjoy the national track. So. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and load up the bikes and then um, if you watch day with Dio from Saturday at Aztec I got my new 1911 yesterday So I think dad and I are gonna go to the gun range and go uh, break them in so I'm excited for that now uh, Bring you guys along for that. So load up the bikes and get going here See you guys All right guys, we are rolling out of Lakewood now uh, Thunder Valley um I, I, we already said bye to Kyle and Chad and the girls. Um, I, I should have shown them on camera and like done a proper goodbye, but uh, we were actually like, whatever, saying goodbye. So um, they're headed back now. They got a 12 hour drive they're looking at. And um, so hopefully they have a good drive back, but it's so cool that they came all the way out here um, and got to ride and check out the tracks out here and just experience it. And I'm so glad I could hang out with them and take them to some of the tracks and stuff so um that goes for any of you guys if you're ever around um around the denver area and you want to ride some tracks let me know and um, we can meet up and ride a thunder or whatever um, always looking to have some fun with other people who love dirt bikes so um yeah like i said we're gonna i'm we're gonna head to the apartment now unload the bike and um then my dad and i are gonna head to the gun range and shoot our new uh, 1911 so i'm really excited for that um the blister on my hand. It's feeling real good. Um, that's gonna be a fun one, but it did that like a few weeks ago. So it's just back. Uh, just wait for it to heal over and it should be good by next weekend. But yeah, good day at Thunder Valley. Didn't really put down too many laps or do anything crazy or anything. Just uh, rode and had some fun, threw some whips, hit some corners. Just enjoyed a day on the dirt bike. It wasn't like a super serious, okay, we're gonna do two 15 plus two motos or anything like that. It's like, whatever I felt like doing, I just went and did it. So that kept it a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm gonna remind you again, if you are enjoying the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Obviously that's gonna be the end of riding for, the, for today. But um, if you'd like to hang out and uh, check out the gun range, I'll be coming up soon. I'll uh, catch up with you guys then. Home sweet home. We're pretty loaded up got dad loaded up with a bunch of stuff i have my backpack on and everything but got everything out of the truck got the bikes put away and uh, yeah go upstairs drop it all off and then off to the gun range
All right, guys, so we just got home, and obviously we're still recording, but on my PC, I have Day with Dio from yesterday, so hopefully this looks familiar, because hopefully you had watched that. Um, and so when I get back from the gun range, when my dad and I get back, what I have going on is going to be finishing up Saturday's Day with Dio, which should then be up on Monday for you guys, then start working on today's Day with Dio, which will hopefully be up Tuesday, and I might push it back to Wednesday, depending on... Uh, how the views are doing but um lots lots of work going into it busy weekend um, lots of riding which is lots of fun but then lots of busy work with the videos so i really hope you guys are enjoying them um obviously i make them because i enjoy doing it but for you guys to enjoy watching it that's really the um, icing on the cake as it were so uh, i hope you guys are enjoying them and making it worth all this time but um yeah we're gonna relax for just a second grab the guns and then uh roll on out Yeah, maybe if we can squeeze four and four. Okay. So we're just setting up targets here. Gonna be shooting from on over there. Uh, something like maybe, I don't know. I don't know how far it is, but uh, he's gonna be the first shots through the 45. You haven't shot yours yet, I'm sure, right? That is correct. All right, so we're both gonna be shooting for the first time on these uh, handguns. Really excited. Uh, hope to have some good results with it. All right, we got our eight targets set up, so we'll decide if uh, maybe I'll shoot the top ones or I'll shoot these ones. Obviously, we'll figure it out, but um, so go try it out. First round through this gun. Almost touched. Yeah, not bad at all. That's great. Um, I'm used to shooting the nine, so of course I've shot, I've shot 45 before. But when you're used to shooting mostly nine, the 45 is a big difference. But it's great. So Dad's going for his first shots now. Oh my God! Bullseye. Basically, it continues over your head. Helps the I have to try it. Oh, yeah. You should try it, yeah. It's nice. cool. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, we got partial feed or something. It's like not, it's not returning it all the way. Okay. All right, let me. Okay, so what's happening, it's nothing with the gun. Um, the Glock, when you let off the trigger on the Glock, it does that click. This okay. doesn't have that click, right. and I'm waiting for it. Yeah, no, this is single action. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm sorry. I, uh, no, it's just nothing, it's something I want to be using. Yeah. So you were releasing it far enough for it to be ready. Yeah. Right there. I was. But um, I was waiting to, until the click came, so I, was, I felt like the trigger wasn't coming all the way out because there was no click. But yeah, it, it was because then when I fired off that last one, it fired no problem. One thing I never thought to say the difference. Yeah. Which one are you? And if you just if shooting right against that wall, you could move over. Oh, the I'm noticing it. Okay. Still doing pretty good. I even noticed that it's kind of hard. The new sights, they're better. You're gonna have to kind of learn them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we just put the first few rounds through. Um, to be honest, uh, where we have the targets at, it's a little far for me shooting a gun for the first time. Um, 
which I'm, I'm not getting discouraged about it, but it is a little frustrating when you're not hitting as well as you'd like to be. I'd like to start a, a lot closer and kind of work my way out. What about you, Dad? How do you feel about it? How's it shooting? Uh, it's shooting real well. They're very accurate handguns as near as I can tell, but they do have us at about 10 yards, which is about 30 feet. That's actually quite quite a ways out yeah, there for, shooting. for a pistol, if you're using it for self-defense, it's like really far, so um, it's not like a far shot, but... Um, usually you'd start some somewhere closer, but still having a blast with it. Um, gun is awesome, firing really well, really enjoy it, happy with it. So um, yeah, now we're gonna go change out the targets and uh, shoot some more. We just finished up at the gun range. How was it, Dad? It was a lot of fun. Uh... The, the targets were kind of far out. They didn't they didn't have any uh, availability of closer in, but I had a good time. Yeah, lots of fun shooting those new 1911s. Um, really, really excited about that. So uh, that was good, but now just gonna head home. And then, like I said, I, I'm gonna get cracking on Day With Dio. I've already had people on Snapchat hitting me up, asking me with, where Day With Dio is. I understand you guys don't know until Day With Dio is out, like what my whole day was, but um, so yeah, I've had two long days in a row where I haven't been sitting at my computer. So I'm getting them done as fast as I can. I know you guys will be happy when they're out, but um, that's that's my evening. Got to get some food I haven't ate all day. I've had like six pretzels and uh, <laughs> and that's it. So I'm going to get home, get some food, and uh, hammer down on Day With Dio. But that's going to do it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, two-day riding weekend. If you're here in the U.S., um, you had Labor Day off probably. Um, I hope you guys had an awesome long weekend. A short week going back to school or going back to work hopefully for you guys I know it is for us so um, that's gonna do it though guys thank you so much for watching um, if you didn't catch Saturday's video please go ahead and check it out um, hit like on all the videos and um, yeah so take it easy if it's easy take it twice we'll talk to you later click over here for a video suggested by YouTube click over here to subscribe to my channel click on his face and uh, yeah hopefully be something good but we'll talk to you guys later